Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is our third session of words from Allah's book and we were discussing the story of Adam alayhi salam. And previously we have discussed Surah Al-A'raf verses number 11 to 15 in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the event when Adam alayhi salam was created and then angels were commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to prostrate and Iblis was also commanded but he disobeyed. And because of his disobedience, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala outcasted Iblis. In verses today from 16 to 21 Surah Al-A'raf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that when Iblis was outcasted, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respite till day of judgment and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him that. And then Iblis promised that he will try to misguide Adam alayhi salam and his progeny till the day of judgment. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned uh, a test when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed Adam alayhi salam and his wife Hawa salaman alayha in a paradise. And everything uh, that was of that paradise was allowed for Adam alayhi salam and his wife to enjoy except this one fruit of a forbidden tree. And Iblis, he whispered and misguided Adam alayhi salam and Hawa salaman alayha and tempted them into eating that forbidden tree. And as they did that, they realized that Iblis was their biggest enemy. Nahmuduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'ghfiruhu wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina man yahdihi allahu fala mudilla lah wa man yudlil fala hadiya lah wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdahu la sharika lah ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I seek refuge from the accursed Satan in the name of Allah the most compassionate the most merciful قال فبما أغويتني لا أقعدن لهم سراطك المستقيم إبليس said hence as you have caused me to go astray I will certainly sit in wait for them to misguide them on your straight path. ثُمَّ لَا آتِيَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ وَعَنْ أَيْمَانِهِمْ وَعَنْ شَمَائِلِهِمْ Then I will certainly approach them from their front, from their behind, from their right and from their left. وَلَا تَجِدُ أَكْثَرَهُمْ شَاكِرِينَ And you will not find most of them thankful. قَالَ اخْرُجْ مِنْهَا مَذْؤُومًا مَذْحُورًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, exit from here, disgraced and outcast. لَمَنْ تَبِعَكَ مِنْهُمْ لَأَمْلَأَنَّ جَهَنَّمَ مِنْكُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ Indeed, whoever among them follows you, surely I will fill hell from all of you. وَيَا آدَمُ اسْكُنْ أَنْتَ وَزَوْجُكَ الْجَنَّةِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Adam alayhi salam, O Adam, Dwell you and your wife in paradise. فَكُلَا مِنْ حَيْثُ شِئْتُمَا وَلَا تَقْرَبَا هَذِهِ الشَّجَرَةَ فَتَكُونَا مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ Hence, eat you both from wherever you both wish and do not approach this tree. Otherwise, you both will become of those who transgress. فَوَسْوَسَ لَهُمَا الشَّيْطَانُ لِيُبْدِيَ لَهُمَا مَا فُورِيَ عَنْهُمَا مِنْ سَوْآتِهِمَا then whispered Satan to both of them to disclose to them which were hidden from both of them matters of their shame. وَقَالَ مَا نَهَاكُمَا رَبُّكُمَا عَنْ هَذِهِ الشَّجَرَةِ إِلَّا أَنْ تَكُونَ مَلَكَيْنِ أَوْ تَكُونَ مِنَ الْخَالِدِينَ And Iblis said, Your Lord has only forbidden you both from this tree, lest you become angels or you become immortals. وَقَاسَمَهُمَا إِنِّي لَكُمَا لَمِنَ النَّاسِحِينَ And Iblis swore to both of them that truly I am to you both among the sincere well-wishers. This was Surah A'raf verses 16 to 21 in which the moral is that Iblis is a greatest enemy of human beings and he will try to lie and misguide us into disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us from the whispers of Iblis. Barakallahu li wa lakum wa lisa'iril muslimina wal muslimat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.